at the Carrier Dome. Syracuse players before the game wearing Pearl Washington warm-up t-shirts honoring the Syracuse great who is battling a brain tumor. We all wish Pearl the best. Seth Allen hits the early three for Virginia Tech, giving the Hokies a 9-2 lead. Virginia Tech looking for more, a wild sequence. Allen goes for the slam, misses. Loose ball, saved to the orange. They come back the other way. Michael Benege, the Euro step, laying good. And Syracuse is within three. Virginia Tech did a great job in the first half breaking down the Syracuse 2-3 zone. Zach Lede for the dunk, he had 13 points. Hokies by nine, but in the final seconds, Tyler Lydon, the three as time runs out. He did this the exact same thing the other day. 30, 24, Orange down by six at the half. Let's jump ahead, 90 seconds left. Virginia Tech up seven. Malachi Richardson for three, makes it a four point game. After a defensive stop by Syracuse, next possession. Richardson, the nice dish to Lydon, the flush. And now it's a two point game, 55-53. After a free throw makes it a three point game, Michael Benege from about 28 feet. He ties it at 56. Virginia Tech, a last chance, under 10 seconds. Justin Bibbs, that won't go. Can Syracuse come all the way back and win it in regulation at the buzzer? Malachi Richardson, no. We go to overtime tied at 56 in OT. Benege. Just enough room to hit the jumper. He had 17 points. That's the first Syracuse lead of the game. 58-56, now tied at 58. Trevor Cooney for three. He played all 45 minutes. In fact, four Syracuse players played more than 40 minutes. Then Malachi Richardson falling away the three. Syracuse outscores Virginia Tech 12 to four in overtime and wins it 68-60, a big comeback win for the Orange. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Digital Network. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.